In this video, we're going to focus on the list style position. And basically what we just did, or in the previous video, we had created a list and then we had added some padding left, as we can see here. And this is all fancy and nice, but maybe you don't want this here. There are still other options, especially if you have multiple images and you figure out that you have to customize every image or every, every image with the padding. That would take too much work. That's an option. With the padding, it's a very suitable option if you have a fixed default image that you use everywhere. But maybe you want these items just visible within here. So how can we do this? Well, the list style position gives you the option. And basically, you have two options here. You have it. Well, let's look right now. What is the default setting here? If we open up our developer tab, Let's click here and search for the list item or under uh, unordered list item. Click here on computed and then we're going to search here for the specific value of list style position. And you will see then it is on the outer side. So you can see here list style. It's on the outside. So basically it will be excluded from the things or basically the content is so if we go here basically this part you can see it's only calculate the content excluding the padding items here but maybe you want them inside then to, to be included so by default it's set an outside and as you can see here and then refresh there you are so what if we want to include them inside so we just put them on the inside we save this refresh and now you can see instantly it jumps in here and it will just calculate automatically the option here if we were, would remove this we create a disk there you are and then it works from the inside here and you don't have to worry anything at all and you can see here it will have oh let me double check here let's go here to our unordered list order list then they have all the items in here. You can see it's still in here. It does have a certain uh, margin. Yes, it does calculate a structure, but it will calculate automatically without you doing any extra effort in considering how to calculate that. And especially if you have like an image here, it will calculate as well. So this is nice because then, for example, you could give this a background color. You will see that it will calculate as well within the background color because of this item here or within our content box so everything within here now is in the content box and that is perfect thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions regarding this make sure you put them in the comment section i'll get back to you and if you enjoyed this video check out the next video here you will probably enjoy this as well